Hello out there Keto family. My name is Sherry. I'm Keto on a Budget. I do Keto Budget. Keto on a Budget. Um, I'm on my way home from shopping. I have done all the Christmas things, all the Christmas after sales. I'm heading to Kroger right now. We need to pick up, uh, but the only thing I need to pick up is butter. I've already got my um, stuff for next week that I'll need to meal prep. I'm going to start that meal prep tonight and probably finish it tomorrow. Um, I have gone to Marshall's, uh, which I was looking for a lunch tote and ended up getting a set of Christmas glasses. A set of gnome Christmas glasses. Christy from OK Keto, you got me started on the gnomes. I think it was you. Yeah, it was you. Anyway. It was all the gnomes. Um, they were so cute. That was the only gnomes they had left in there was that one set of Christmas glasses. The little wine, um, wine tumbler glasses. But um, I did find a tote for $12. Um, Melinda from, yeah, <laughs> Princess Ninja and Keto. I'm just throwing blanks today. Um, from Princess Ninja and Keto was showing us her bag that she got on clearance at Walmart. I looked at my Walmart. I did not find anything on clearance that's comparable. So I knew they have them at Marshall's and they're the size that I need and it has a holder for a, a drink and it also comes with a glass. So I got that for $12 and then the tumblers were $10 half off of that was it was $5. Another little uh, tumbler that I got, a little small glass um, which had the red truck on it was $3.99 and I paid $2 for it. And then I got, I got one more thing, what did I get? Hmm. No, I think that was it. Anyway, um, I also went to Kirkland's and I bought a Christmas sign that says Believe. Um, they were they have everything 75% off, but they have pretty much wiped out of everything that I would consider getting. Um, they have a lot of a lot of stuff in there, but nothing that I would personally use. I also got another um, glass that was on sale for ten dollars. It's a tumbler, insulated tumbler. I can use it for cold or hot, either one, and it was really cute. And let's see, where else did I go? I went to Target. I was looking for the Nespresso pods which when I looked did the Google search on it it said they had them at Target but they do not so what I got I had to take back uh, because it's not going to fit in my cure because I had those uh, in my cure I'm sorry my Nespresso because I have the Nespresso Virtual Virtual Plus and it takes those dome shaped weird pods now I have my um, thing that I bought from Amazon the where I can put, put my own coffee grounds in it so I'll be able to use it but I wanted to try out it with, try it out with the pods. So that's where else I went. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, I struck out at Bed Bath & Beyond. They were completely sold out of all the Nespresso Virtual Pods. They had the other kind, a ton of the other kind, and they were all marked down. So you guys want to think, if you have the Nespresso and it's not the Virtual line, it's the original or, or the other brand new one, you might want to check out your Bed Bath & Beyond because everything was on clearance on, on the coffee pods, those, those Nespresso coffee pods. A lot of the Keurig coffee pods were on, uh, K-Cups were on sale, um, or on clearance. Plus they have every, all their holiday stuff 50% off. However, I did join their thing and I got a 20% off coupon and I found something amazing at Bed Bath & Beyond. So, you know, if I ever win the lottery, I'm going to Bed Bath & Beyond. That place is gonna, it's, it's gonna be so freaking amazing. Um, but here, as soon as I get stopped at this traffic light, I'll show you what I got. It, um, it is made by Dash. It is not a mini waffle maker. It is this. It is a egg bite maker. So I can make my eggs and put them in these little containers and have it done. Quick and easy peasy, no baking, no messing up my muffin cups, anything like that. Just put it in there and voila. And it was $20. They have it $20 at Bed Bath & Beyond. They still had the Dash uh, Griddles and Waffle Makers, the mini ones, for $10 at Bed Bath & Beyond. And 
these were, this was $20 plus I had a 20% off coupon. So I paid, and that was the only thing I got at Bed Bath & Beyond was, was that. Um, and I paid $17 for it with tax. So now that's going to pop up. So let me check back with you in just a minute. Sorry about that. That was a Instacart thing that popped up and it was already gone by the time I got to it. So there has been zero. I mean, there has been so few pop up. I guess everybody's wanting to get it. And by the time I even look, some of them I just don't even want to bother, bother with because it's like I would, I would end up spending more than that in gas getting out there to those locations. Um, and then some of them that I would have taken, but they were, they were snagged before I could even get in there. So I'm like, okay, I guess today's not a good day. Nobody's shopping. It is a beautiful day out there today. So in my area, people are probably just getting out and not ordering. However, Sundays and Mondays are usually super good days. So I'm anticipating, uh, my church isn't holding services tomorrow. So I will probably work my Instacart most of the day tomorrow and hopefully be able to catch up with some of the things that I couldn't, you know, some of the money that I was hoping to make today. But in the meantime, I got all the stuff. I'm heading to Kroger's now because Hubby needs butter and they have, uh, I think it's bacon. I think bacon on sale, which is hmm, on their four day sale. And they had a couple other things and I'm gonna check their Christmas clearance off also and see if they put some of those other things on clearance yet that they had not put on clearance yet. They always put the appliances and stuff that they get for, get for Christmas and bring in. They always put those on clearance at some point, usually for 50% 50, 50 off or more. And some of those I may actually snag if they're, um, if they're good. So, what I've had to eat today. I was going to do the egg fest. I started the egg fest yesterday. I did good. And then I even had egg for dinner. But for lunch, I forgot and I bought one of those protein packs that has, it had turkey, Kobe Jack, and almonds in it. And I ate that and I'm like, crap, I forgot. Oh well. So I didn't stick with the egg fest. I'm probably going to just try to restart it when the hubby goes back to work and he's just out. Today I was going to do it again. And but he wanted to go to Wild Wing for lunch, so I ended up going to Wild Wing for lunch, and I got chicken wings, which actually been I had actually been craving. So no big deal. I have not gained any more weight back. I've already lost um, some of the about a pound of what I had gained on Christmas from the water weight. Um, so I'm doing pretty well. I'm sticking with keto. I'm trying to get myself set up for the new year so that I can just, you know, focus on trying to get away from the keto snacks, it's from snacking as much and trying to get away from the keto snacks and using things like this dash is going to come in so awesome. Just make those egg bites super quick and throw them in something and be off and out on the road and do my stuff and have something for lunch, have something to snack on and just, it's going to be amazing. Oh yeah, I want to pick up some, probably some deli meat and some green peppers at so I can use them to make little mini omelets little mini egg bite omelet thingies so I'm kind of excited about using this for the first time so yay but oh gosh um, I did order some of the pods from Nespresso from them directly just to try it out they're expensive and I didn't realize when I got the Nespresso that it was so proprietary that they have, um, so that they, they don't have, you can only get pods that are made by Nespresso, even if they, it's never, Nespresso and Targets, it's Targets, Starbucks apparently has a, a partnership there where they make, um, Nespresso pods in Starbucks flavors, Starbucks coffee for their Nespresso machines. Um, if I had realized that it was so proprietary, I would not have gotten it. So, um, as much as I love my new Nespresso machine and having fun with it and playing with it, I will keep it and I will use that, um, that thing that I got from Amazon that I was telling you about that I can't remember what to call it. Um, I will continue to use that. But I would have just stuck with the Keurig if I had realized it was so proprietary. So, I cannot recommend anybody get one. Um, I have heard rave things about it. I think Jess from Journey to Healthy got one for Christmas. Um, Ashley from Ocrogal has an espresso. But, I mean, when you 
actually count out in the long run, the Nespresso pods are probably just a slightly bit more than K-Cups. But you can get K-Cups like dirt cheap. And I'm talking about the Keurig brand K-Cups that you get. They're probably just a little bit more than that, but you have to buy them in large quantities, 40 and 50 of the, the pods. You can buy just like just 10 pods to try out from Nespresso. And from what I understand, the first time you order from them, they're supposed to send you samples and, and a, a free gift. So that would be pretty cool if I got that. And I will probably order one once in a while. You can also, from Amazon, I did find you can get these like reusable lids that you can put on, the, on top of the pods to reuse those pod things. So I will probably do that too. Make up something I could just on the espresso machine to yeah to work on that. Um, what else I got for dinner? I have not had dinner yet, so I don't know what I'm having. Oh yeah, I'll have the rest of the leftover chicken wings because I ordered twelve chicken wings and I ate half of them at lunch, and I will have the other half for dinner tonight. And I'm probably going to go to bed early because according to my sleep cycle, I got seven hours of sleep last night, but I only got like 40 minutes of deep sleep. So, and I woke up five times last night, so that was just weird. And I remember waking up. I do remember waking up multiple times last night. So, I know I got up once and went to the bathroom. Other times I just turned over and went back to sleep. But... I don't, and I couldn't tell you what woke me up if the dog had moved and hit the door or if somebody had zoomed by and traffic in the house. And we live on a very, not, not that much traveled road. It's busier than some, not, uh, not quite as, not as busy as others. So it's kind of like a lower mid range there. But I'm tired, people. It is 5.13 in the afternoon, as you can tell, it is starting to get dark here. I'm going to head over to Kroger's, get the few things that I need there, and then head home. And I'll probably hit the hay early so I can get up and get an early start on Instacart tomorrow. Hopefully, if they've got some shops. And usually Sundays and Mondays are super busy days. And I can't usually do Sundays because I've got church. So I can do that tomorrow. And then Monday, I normally do uh, volunteer connections. But since we're not having service, I have Monday free. So, but I know mom, my mom wants to go to the doctor early next week, either Monday or Tuesday. So I'm going to talk her into going Tuesday, unless she's feeling really, really bad, so that I can concentrate on working on Monday. Because Tuesdays I take off anyway. So that would be awesome. Anyway, um, January 1st is coming up. We just have a few more days before January 1st is coming up. And yeah. It's going to be an amazing year coming up. I'm going to focus this channel more on budget items, so I'm probably gonna step away from doing the budget hauls and the meal preps and do like a different twist on them. Um, because simply you're seeing the same things every week and it doesn't exactly uh, make for in a channel you wanna go back and keep watching over and over again. So I'm going to be refocusing on budget and purchasing buying things budget wise budget friendly and focusing on like for example I'm thinking about showing you guys how to buy ground beef what to look for in ground beef um, which ones to buy how it's okay to buy the cheaper version versus the organic um, massaged grass-fed um, ground beef that you that's like costs a lot of money um, I'm also going to show you how to sometimes taking a little bit more money and investing it is much wiser because you end up saving more money in the long run and then showing you how you can use that in different recipes you know what I mean like I mean you guys have seen me I've made chili I've made taco soup I've made hamburger casserole I've made cheese uh, cheeseburger casserole I've made taco casserole you know, all the, and I'm, I just want to show you guys all the different ways you can use to make, have a variety of things in your diet and still save your money. Okay? So, we're going to focus on that this upcoming year. So, I'm working on a plan. Got my notes. And 
I'm working on a plan to get all this together and how we're going to focus on this. So, that is all I have for today. I'm heading to Kroger's and then home, as I've said like multiple times. I know you've heard that all before. But we're going to, oh yeah, my, speak, my microphone is going to be in for my new camera. So I'm going to be playing with that and getting a lot of these things recorded on there. Um, I will do meal prep videos if I've got something different that I'm making. And I'm going to be trying out a lot of Keto Gingers and uh, Erica's from Time to Shrink's recipes. And show you how you guys can save money trying out these different recipes. You guys have a wonderful night.